alarm. Fire a flare when the player enters a trigger. We're going to start off by placing a player. We're going to just place a rifleman and we're going to put him right about here facing this direction and then we're going to edit his loadout and I'm going to give him this loadout. So this will be our loadout. And that's our player. Next we're going to go to OB4 and we're going to go to FIA and then men and then we're going to place a survivor. We're going to go over here and place a survivor over here. I don't want the uh, OB4 to have any weapons because this is mainly just to show something in use with the trigger. Then we're going to go to the map and we're going to give this guy a waypoint. So we'll have him go here and then we'll have him go right about here and that's it for that. Next we're going to go to triggers and we're going to place down a trigger without a size. I'm going to place that right about here and then we're going to put this on the area widget and we're going to double click it make it a rectangle just hit OK for now and then we're going to expand the trigger so that it encompasses this area kind of squares it up with the area just like that just expand it a little bit more something like that okay Alright, so that's our trigger. Next we're going to edit the trigger and we're going to go to activation. Activation is going to be blue fort since our player is blue fort. Then the activation type we're going to put detected by OP4. And in the on activation box I'm going to paste the code. Alright, so here's the code. Let's review this code. So we have a flare object and the object is a 40 millimeter white flare. We'll go over something with this in a minute, but the create vehicle basically creates the flare at the player's position. And then you have uh, three settings. I actually forget what these two settings are for, but the 300 is the height above the ground that the, that the flare will uh, spawn at. The flare object set velocity is basically how slow the flare will drop down from the air. So just to give you an idea, if you set this to zero, when the flare spawns, it won't move out of the air. It'll stay in one spot and not move. It won't drop or anything. So if you increase that number to five, it'll slowly drop. If you increase it to ten, it'll it'll drop accordingly. I found 15 to be pretty decent so it, it slowly drops and uh, that's it. Now one more thing I want to point out is where it says white here you have different colors that you can change that to. So other than white you can change this to green, red, or yellow. So all you have to do if you wanted a red flare then all you need to do is just put red. If you wanted a yellow flare then you just put yellow you could do like that. So we're just going to stick with white and go with that and that's basically it. So we'll just hit OK. Next what we have to do is we're going to go to the Intel and then we're going to change the time to 3 a.m. and then we'll hit OK. That'll make it nighttime. Next we're going to save our scenario. I'm going to put this on Livonia and we're going to name this flare underscore trigger. Alright, that's our mission. Let's test it out. So we just crawl under the fence here and walk into the area. Here's our O4 enemy. And as soon as he detects us, which is right about now, there's our flare. If he had a gun, he'd probably shoot me. Alright, so that shoots a flare, but I want to show you guys something. Let's go back to the editor, and let's go to the trigger. We'll edit the trigger. Now, if you scroll down, and you go to where it says trigger effects, we can actually add a sound to the flare to make it 
basically add that immersion that it's missing. So you scroll down, these sounds are all alphabetical order. Scroll down to where you see flare fired and just hit OK and add that. We'll save this and let's test it out. As soon as he detects me, there you go. So you see the height is 300 meters, and then added that sound, which really add, added some more immersive elements to it. All right, I'm going to show you something else. Let's go back to the editor. We're going to do this different. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit the trigger again. And we're going to set the activation type to present. So basically when Blue 4 enters the trigger, the flare will go off instead of being detected by O4. So we'll do that. And then what we'll do is we're going to add another trigger. So we'll just copy the existing trigger, press Control C, and then press Control V to paste the new trigger. So we'll edit the new trigger will take out the flare code because we already have a trigger for that. We can leave it blue for present but this time this one's going to be a sound. So instead of flare fired we're going to go to alarm for hope for. We just hit OK. To make this a little bit more interesting we're going to delete that. We're going to go to groups hope for and then FIA infantry patrol team and we're going to place a little patrol team facing this direction and kind of collapse their ranks a little. And then we're going to give them a waypoint. Waypoint's going to be about here and then here. Make the end waypoint so you can destroy. Actually, we'll go like this. This will be the move waypoint. This will be uh, full speed. Uh, we're going to make this move to where they go here. And then they'll come here. This will be seek and destroy. And what we'll do is off of this trigger, probably can do the trigger with the flare. We'll right click the trigger and set waypoint activation and we'll set it on this first waypoint so that way the way this will work is when the player enters the trigger the flare, the alarm, and the flare sound will go off and then it'll it'll activate the, these guys' waypoint, they'll follow the waypoint and then basically uh, attack the player when they see them. So we'll put this like this and uh, let's save that and test it out. So here we are. Uh oh. Uh oh. Flare and alarm. There get some cover.
guys I hope you like that I'll put this code in the description of the video and you can copy it and put it into your own missions just remember you can change this to three other colors if you want I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video